What's up everybody, I'm Alex, AKA Alex the Vagabond. You're watching Vaga Brothers, and right now I'm in Poland, in Warmia and Matsuria, a beautiful lake district in the northern part of the country. I'm here exploring with the Polish Tourism Organization, and I am extremely excited to explore this country that I've never been to. Marco has taken a vacation back in California, so I'm bringing my fiance, Carrie Rad, along for the ride. Let's go. everybody well welcome to Lidzbark Warminski. This city was once the capital of the region of Warmia. It was uh, founded in the mid 1300s and this is the castle of the bishop. It was ruled by a bishop, the Bishop of Warmia, for over 500 years until the mid 1800s. The castle was built in the Gothic style but this was the private chapel for the bishop and the people who lived in the castle and it was redecorated in the mid 1700s in the Rococo style, which is just ostentatious and elaborate and luxurious. And to be honest, I have never been in a house of worship as beautifully decorated as this. Also, fun fact, if you're coming to Poland and you wanna get married, you can rent this place. This is the most stunning Catholic church I have ever been in in my life. It's definitely a nostalgic feeling being in here. I grew up in Catholic school, so I went to Mass every single Friday when I was young, and it's just beyond anything I have ever seen before. It is so decadent and just stunning, gold trimming on absolutely everything and um, it just feels really peaceful in here. I think my mom would really love this place. So we've left the town of Lidzbark Farminski and we have come here to the Palace of Galine, which uh, is not only a palace, it's also a farm, it's also a restaurant, which has won some awards for their cuisine. We're starting things off with some Polish dumplings and a nice spring salad, most of which grown here on the property. But we didn't just come here to eat, we're here to learn how to ride horses. Now, it's not the first time that we've ridden horses, but let's be honest, how often do you get the chance to polish up your equestrian skills? Probably not that often. So we're gonna ride some horses, but first, it's time to eat. How do I say cheers in Polish? Smoshnego. Riding horses is by no means a simple thing. These beautiful beasts are sentient, they know what we're doing, they know what we're not doing, and when you do not have equestrian skills, like myself, it can become quite a challenge. The trot, especially difficult, 
Uh, but once you figure it out, once you get your practice going, and you have a great horse, it starts to flow a little better. Let's go out. Go on. Go, go. I'm not gonna lie, it has been quite a long time since I was last on a horse. When I was growing up, I loved horses, so thank you to Palas Galine for allowing me to kind of relive that. Thank you to Alabama for being such a good girl uh, and, and teaching me the ropes again, quite literally. In this modern world that we live in, we lose connection with um, natural pace, you know? Everybody talks about how many horsepower are in their cars or in a, in a motorcycle, but this is the original horsepower. It's only one, but it's great. And trust me, it is the most powerful uh, experience in the natural world. I think that these animals, along with dogs, to the best, most loyal creatures. As much as I would love to ride Alabama to the next destination, unfortunately, that's not quite possible, so. I'm gonna take you back to the barn, all right, babe? Let's go, come on. Let's go, Alabama, come on. Let's go, girl. come on. Well, it doesn't get much more quintessentially rural than this. We are on a horse-drawn carriage going through the Polish countryside here at Palas Galine. They have over 350 hectares of land. There are farms, there's rolling grass, you can ride horses, you can hike, you can ride bikes. You can also stay here. You can stay at the palace, which was built in the 16th century, or over at the newer accommodation. They have over 60 horses. Honestly, this is really, really nice. I think that as people and society continues to urbanize, part of, a part of our soul is begging to be back in the countryside. It feels a million miles away from the city and the hectic city life that most of us live, so I'm loving it. And uh, I highly recommend if you get a chance, you come out and try for yourself. Well, we have made it to a new town. It's called Mikoaiki, and uh, it's also on a lake, but we are hopping on a boat to do things a little bit different. It's lunchtime, and we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna take a boat to a restaurant in the middle of the lake, renowned for its fresh fish. Each day, uh, fishermen bring their catches to the restaurant, and then you eat it on the water. It's gonna be super rad. Let's check it out. Oh, 
once again, we are going from one lake to another via canal. I love how the forest just comes like right up to the lake's edge. And many of the islands uh, in these lakes are actually nature preserves. Overall, I think the most surprising thing about Poland to me is that the people are really all about enjoying life because we're in an area that is filled with lakes, filled with things to do in the outdoors. The locals are all out sailing, taking boats around to have lunch and just enjoying the sunshine. We've just been really lucky this trip and I'm loving going from boat to boat. And there's really no better place to be when the sun is out shining like this. So, I'm enjoying it. Nostrovia. We have arrived here to Barca restaurant and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a floating restaurant that you can only get to by boat, specializing in freshwater fish caught from the lake. Every morning the fishermen bring the fish here. This place is the perfect cherry on top of a nice Polish summer afternoon. We have two different types of lake fish in front of us. We have a Xander and a Burbot. We've got some french fries and some coleslaw slash like pickled uh, cucumbers, ice cold beer, right on the water. I don't think you could ask for much more. Cheers. Well, it's been an awesome afternoon on the water, but it's time to hop off the boat and head to our hotel, which just so happens to be right there. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are putting a cherry on top of an incredible day. We're at the Hotel Mikoaiki, a five-star hotel right on the lake. Incredible views right out in front of us. The city of Mikoaiki behind us, illuminated by the sunset. And I'm just feeling really happy. I'm feeling a ton of gratitude right now. Coming to a part of Europe that I never even knew existed, to a country I had never visited before, and getting to do it with my fiance, Carrie. This has just been such an incredible experience and I feel even happier that I get to share it with all of you back home. So I think it's time for me to put the camera down, be present, Enjoy this sunset, enjoy this moment, and check in with you all tomorrow. So, have a good night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kosove Górne. Uh, we are at a research facility for the Polish Academy of Sciences dedicated to researching the Servid family. The Servid family you may better know as the deer family. There's five different species of Servids here in Poland and this beautiful place uh, is dedicated to better understanding those animals. So there are over 500 animals on a hundred hectares of land here and we are going to meet some of the scientists who are dedicating their lives to better understanding these creatures and if we're lucky, maybe get some good Instagram photos. Let's go. So what 
welcome on the research station of Polish Academy of Sciences. This is also a tea farm where you can observe and uh, um, how these animals behave. This is not typical deer, uh, Gabi. She's a red deer hind. She was hunt raised because uh, of the human activity who stole her from the forest. If I raised her, I've also become her mother and I'm responsible of her for her whole life. How are you feeling, Carrie? I'm in heaven. Can I live here with you? Yeah, this is hard work. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing that you have a connection to her like that what to learn from these animals because they are social and if they are social they are close to us we are also close social yeah. species they are very sad when they are uh, alone they cannot be alone pretty incredible uh, this is a first for me I've never been this close nor touched a deer but Gabby's super nice I think that coming here and being able to walk with the deer and hang out with the deer gives a whole new understanding of these animals. And I think that that in itself also just shows how close of a connection we can have with animals and how we actually are animals as well. I think in this modern day and age with technology and, and cars and airplanes, we kind of forget that we are a part of the world, not apart from the world. So coming here is just a nice little reminder of that. To be honest, I'm pretty sad that this trip is ending. It's kind of a bittersweet, uh, bittersweet ending. It's been so fun. It's been such an eye-opening experience exploring this corner of Europe, one that I had never visited before. I had never visited Poland before and Varmia and Matsuria in particular have just blown me away. I didn't know that this nature existed here. I didn't know that these lakes existed, the forests, the people, the culture. Uh, it's all been such a pleasant surprise and one that quite honestly I'll never forget. I've had such a great time exploring Poland with Carrie and getting to share it all with you has just made it that much more meaningful. So if you're looking for your next European vacation, an off the beaten path destination, then I highly recommend you come and visit Poland. And if you can, make it to Varmia and Matsuria um, and follow some of the recommendations that we gave you in this video. So huge thank you to the Polish Tourism Organization for making this trip possible. It's been such a great experience. If you need more information for planning your visit to Poland, check out their website in the description box of this video. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up, share it with your travel buddies, hit that subscribe with notifications enabled. Make sure you check out Carrie's channel, check out my personal channel as well. And as we always say, stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see you on the road. Peace and do widzenia.